Pal, right? Greetings and salutations. My name is Comic Fire, and welcome back for more Nier. In the last episode, we had some really crazy dreams, and on this episode, we're gonna finish up Side Quest of Palooza. Disappeared. Well, if everything disappeared, you know, how does anything come back? You know, I think it takes more than just uh, a measure of at least 1300 years, let's just assume to get a uh, forest again. If everything vanished, I'm assuming they had to recreate so. creation, you know? I don't know. And this one's simple. We pretty much just have to, uh... Do you have any recipes written inside you, Vice? How dare you compare me to a common cookbook? There is no room within my pages for such trivial matters. And you just have to go to the Eastern Road, which is where the uh, goats are that I had such a hard time with in Episode 2. And use carp as bait. Very easy to catch after you've done all the Fisherman's Gambit quests. They eat well. And this is me just selling off crap I don't need, including all those Damascus steels for the DLC weapons, but I can always get more. And we hit a million gold! Now. Man of Means. We're rich, bitch! <laughs> Just send blood magic into the sky in excitement. Anyway, now I'm going to show you how to farm. Because now we have to get the pink moonflower seeds. And to do this, you're going to plant alternating rows of red and gold moonflowers. Also, when you speed the music up like this, I and mean, this was as fast as Sony Vegas was allowing me to uh, speed it up. It kind of sounds like Act Razor music. And I have a distinct feeling I'm going to get hit with a copyright because of that. And I'm going to combat it fiercely. Now this is the first time I'd ever tried farming. Uh, watering will increase the uh, seed yield. And seeds are what we're after here. You can get flowers. It's all based on a real-life waiting time. I just prefer to set it... Okay, well... Okay, well, I'll explain it now. You have to write real, uh, real life hours for this. 52 real life hours for them to reach the part where they die and you can harvest their seeds. And I was getting confused with the date here. I'm going to, uh, manually adjust the time. So I don't have to, uh, wait like a week to get this episode out. And that's how you do it, really. And now you harvest. You get red moon flowers. Now the whole reason we put the red and gold in that way is so we can have a chance of getting peach moon flower seeds. The whole thing about this is hybridization, because there are no straight-up pink moonflower seeds available in the game. You can't just buy them, give them to the woman, and you're good. That, don't, that won't work. So now we're going to plant alternating rows of gold and blue moonflower seeds. With the intention of getting indigo seeds. Now, there's a trophy that comes from uh, hybridizing a white moonflower. Which has an extremely low chance of happening, but once it does, farming uh, white moonflowers is probably the quickest way to get uh, mass amounts of gold. Because once you've got one, you can pretty much just fill your uh, fields with them. Now, I haven't done it yet. I'm still working on it. But uh, white flowers sell for uh, 
5,000 gold a pop, and you can get 15 at a time. So that's like 75,000 pieces of gold. A run. April 5th is my birthday. Alright. Now, the farther you start hybridizing, the lower chances you have of getting the flowers you really want. But anyway, we got indigo moonflower seeds, which is what we were after. Now, worst comes to worst, you can really just start harvesting just those uh, moonflowers and getting more seeds out of it. Okay. <laughs> now, I fertilized the entire field with bounty flowers, uh, bounty fertilizer, which gives you more seeds. And then I set up rows of red and indigo. Or is it red and peach? Crap, I forgot. Well, we'll find out. I think it's red and indigo. I'm about to find out. Yeah, red and indigo. With the intention of getting pink moonflower seeds. Now, they have a lower chance to spawn, and you need ten of them for the quest. Fortunately, I got all ten. Unfortunately, I didn't have any more to just plant straight up for the uh, white moonflower quest, so I'm going to have to do this step again. But this is the very last side quest we had. Uh... Well... And that's it! We finished all of the side quests! 100%! And in case you don't know what weapon I'm using, I bought all the uh, weapons that you can buy, since we have a million gold now. Alright guys, side quest of Palooza is over. After this, it's back to the plot with the finale of Nier! <laughs> See you guys then!